Am I cosplaying as Callum's scarf? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bill. This is Trying to Stand, where I try new things in pop culture, because I've been living under a rock. <laughs> welcome to part two of me watching The Dragon Prince for the first time. I'll be cutting to me watching it and highlights of my reactions and initial responses, then back here for the more uh, collected thoughts. I did do a video on book one. Go and check that out if you haven't. This season's a little heavy. I got a lot to talk about, so we're just gonna get to it. Hope you enjoy. Like the video, subscribe, ring the bell, Check the settings, set them to all, blah, 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 YouTubers. My gaming channel is linked to the description where I stream twice a week, Build Chill Gaming. Speaking of the description and how heavy the season is, there is a link there to a card that will send you to information for social awareness and education, as well as mental health crisis lines, Trevor Project resources, things like that. Should you or someone you don't need them. Oh, baby. It's fine. Book two of The Dragon Prince. What do you do when you got a baby dragon in front of you and... Uh, a, a breaking world of magic and wonder and humans are ruining the magic. Netflix's The Dragon Prince, book two, sky. One sky, one destiny. Kingdom Hearts. Auntie America, please be safe. Hell yeah. As did you get for slashing into the taint of her shield? Feels like a lifetime since we left home, but it's only been a week. It's been. Seven days, I get that. Whoa! Man, this is so much cooler than a PowerPoint presentation. Who I killed them when you can break their brains with insane illusions? I've got some real mind melters. Gotta go! Turns out moon elves invented things like insecurity and anxiety to trap us in our own minds. You have to flap those wings! Gee, I don't know. He's like 20 hours old, give him some time. That's a federal crime people's mail. He doesn't have any sort of agenda. He just likes his steals so he can feels. Oh, that's adorable as hell. I'm flying, Jack. I'm really flying. Humans can't do magic. Um, but I do. What? Yes, he can? Right. With a primal stone. Oh, oh, that would actually be cool if she instead teaches him how to identify illusions. All creatures are born connected to a primal source. So you and Rayla could cast magic together? That's not a euphemism. Yeah, what does the Rubik's Cube do? Show that to her. I am very impatient. We only have like eight episodes a season. Rayla, no, now you're tired. What's the point of being able to slish and slash if you're not gonna get any sleep? No! Kick him in the dick or grow a conscience. I've just never attacked someone who's sleeping before. And how long do you need her to be awake for it to be sporting? 10 seconds, five. Dude, Claudia, I really liked you until now. Hell yeah. Fight. Don't fight each other. First of all, Claudia and Soren, I don't know what you're doing here, but I'm really glad to see you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but not glad to see you trying to murder my new friend. Yay, no one's picking sides. We're all in this together. Oh, freckles. Your beard looks good. Who is the fairest of them all? Dad gave us a mission. To bring the princess home. Dad said a lot of things. Maybe your dad's a bad guy. No manipulation tactics, please. Pancakes! You f***ing monster. The secret is separating the eggs and beating the whites into a stiff meringue. And just a hint of dark magic. You're feeding me darkness right now? To win. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Your dad really misses you. Wow, do all of you suck? Also, you just ate butter plain. I know they're lying. I know because, well. You've done it? Because, knock, knock. Oh, Rayla, you have to tell them. Oh, buddy. I love learning magic, and I feel sad now that I can't. But you can, if you want to. Uh, say no to books. You just take creatures that are born with magic inside and squeeze it out of them. Ugh, I don't like it. Well, you're doing it again, you're... judgy face. Don't gaslight like this. You're fracking magic out of nature. Wear a helmet with the wind in my hair. Gee, yeah. I thought you were going to be something special. Maybe we talked to a therapist about that. Oh, are we going for second base, holding hands? Whoa, both hands is third base. I don't know if I want this. Don't go all the way for making out. I need to tell you something. Okay, yay, good. He's gone. F <sighs> How sometimes there are changes you don't expect. Is this the talk about sandwiches? I was about to say, this isn't the puberty talk. Ugh. 
I guess I just missed Dad. He'd know what to do. Buddy, you gotta tell him at some point. Yeah, he does. He doesn't need to know right now. But he's and he's a kid. Yay! Hug it out. I have something I need to give you. In private. No. Oh shit! And you didn't open it. You didn't open it. <laughs> Why would I do that for you? I don't know what to make of you, Claudia. No. Oh my god, the tentacle. That. <laughs> Thanks! Oh no, we're not gonna have the puppy with us. <gasps> we still have the dragon! No! Oh, thank God. Oh, my stomach just fell into my ass. <laughs> There's the boy! Hi, boy! My first girlfriend betrayed me under a half moon. That's rough, buddy. That's just straight up a demon. I don't trust it. I don't like it. But these issues require an adult perspective. It seems I am a crown without an adult, and you're an adult without a crown. Let's just be- Hey, yes, okay. What do you think happens for a child to have to be in control of a f***ing country? Come on, man. Ooh, put on your 3D glasses, everyone. If the other kingdoms agree to act in unity, we will commit to this alliance. Yes, in unity, you will have our support as well. What what kind of tentative peer pressure shit is that? I'll get cheese sticks if everybody else wants cheese sticks. I hardly call we'll do what everyone else does a decision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now we're doing a flashback? Lady Justice came to me in a dream. Lady Justice, huh? She was wearing her robes. Ugh. So a boring dream. But <laughs> <laughs> Okay, vibes. <laughs> that the rights and laws and opportunities within the system should stand to protect and empower everyone. Yes, King. They were my parents. Yes. V vibes? Don't cut back to the boat. Are they connected in their dreams? Queens of Durin. Yes, queens. And I may have found a creative solution. No. I can use the heart of the Titan in a powerful spell that will warm the land and allow us it, to It's dark magic, no. Check in with the queen! Why do you have such a problem with this? Because it's dark magic! Somebody just say that, please. It's not labeled as, like, hopeful magic. Is it intelligent? What? Oh, shit. Okay. Animal rights? Beast rights? I sincerely doubt it has a family. Do you know? It's kind. Why does any of that matter? Ecosystem. Morals. Isn't it a little too easy? That's always the way with dark magic. What choice? Thank you. No, Auntie America, don't you go too. I disagree. But I stand by you anyway. Thank you. Hell yeah. In our marriage vows, right? Oh no, is this a, oh no, is this how she, she's gonna, she's gonna die. He's not dead, he was just sleeping, and you just stabbed him in the chest. Ow, what the hell? I need to make jokes. I, who? I was trying to give you the space I thought you needed to love your real father, even though he passed away. Oh. I know I'm not your birth father, but in my eyes and in my heart, you are my son. Hell yeah. This isn't easy. No, dude, let it out. It's all good. Though I know how this story ends, it warms my heart to hear about my parents from someone who is there. Oh, shit. No, not the queens. How many queens have to die for this f***ing Titan heart bullshit? Now I know how Auntie America got those scars. Hell yeah, f***ing team. Oh my god, look at that. No, don't stand there and look cool. Run. Oh, okay. Everyone's... Fine. All right, guys, the floor is literally lava. Hell yeah, not only having the two queens there, but also let them kiss. Thank you, Netflix. You're by no means perfect, but at least you let them kiss. Wounded must be left behind. No. You don't need to whisper, Viren. I'm deaf. Got him. Huh? Anyway, so the, the death of the queen. Oh no, F in the chat for the queens. Oh, can you? Well, damn. We lost her be t saving him? Three queens, three mothers, became legends. Fuck yeah, dude. And I was gonna tell his kids. And growing up, I know sometimes there are changes. Oh, damn. But I cannot repay a debt of a hundred thousand whose lives were saved 
by sending a million men and women to die in violence. At least the NBs will be safe. But hell yeah, kid. Oh yeah, secret! Well, good news. The secret is hidden in the Bantha Lodge, right where you are right now. F it's the cube. The game cube. Hell yeah! He trusted his instincts! The Archmage Erebos, a master of all six primal sources. The Avatar. Yay, hugs! Ah, oh, shit. Excuse me, can you help us return this baby? Mother you are not about to fight a goddamn dragon that hasn't even attacked anybody. Is it your daddy issues? Turns out it was a really bad idea to f with a dragon. I feel like this is a bad idea. Oh, I feel like this is such a bad idea. Use our words. Dude, if you kill another dragon, they're just gonna kill more people. Oh. Where did you hit it in the nards? Oh, damn. But what was it doing? But that doesn't matter. It wasn't doing anything wrong. At least the dragon's alive, but f Dude, you've killed us all. You'll be removed from the council for this, and you'll be lucky if that's all. Good, but he'll always have his buddy, the mirror demon. What are they gonna do to the dragon? Girl, are you evil? Don't, it's a demon. Blood Brothers. How are we gonna move it? In pieces. Girl, no. Dead dragon and a dead elf all in one day. Just kick him in the nards. No. You're not about to do some dark magic. No, I, no, I don't want this. No, it's gotta give you some kind of harm or damage or something, man. I feel like you did the magic equivalent of smoking a cigarette to save a dragon. Don't smoke. Somebody doesn't look too happy. Dude, it's gonna eat you. And I'm not going to mourn you. And, 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 no, ew, you cut off its thing. Like a horn or a... I almost said a sprinkle. Dragon, no, revenge bad. <gasps> Baby boy. The prince has returned. The little dragon's coming with me. No, it's not. Now you have to pick. Sorry. Thank God. Come on, get up. We have to get you some help. I, I can't move, Claudia. Oh, f <laughs> Like, can't, what, like, can't move, can't move? Or, like, can't move right now? And this mother you left the whole activity thing out. Like, you're making a deal with, like, elf Satan. Oh, great. That don't look good. I will make a cocoon in your soul. Oh, no. I guess you made evil walkie-talkies. Mm, okay, yep, that... That thing's bad. Whew, sorry, my phone died. Oh God, does he have like dark magic sickness? Oh. No, what are you doing? I'm pinching you, Soren. Oh my God. All right, a little evil oregano. Okay, okay. Uh Hold on, I must have something. Oh, oh my God, breathe. Yeah, oh God. Just how frantic she was. He's gonna be okay, right? Whoa, are we in his... Mind Palace? I don't remember that on the cube. Oh no, can he not do magic now because he did bad magic? Hello? Dark Callum? Dark Link. Yeah, let's put the bug away. Yeah, you got a bug in a jar. Da -na -na -na. Maybe check in on your son. Oh hey, Chain Guy. My name is Corvus. Durant Maya sent me. Yeah, and she's the best. I am here to serve the king. Oh, uh, 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 not like this. Oh, buddy. Come on, medicine and science. But he's never going to walk again. He should hear it from me. Oh, shit. But I'm not the king. I'm just a prince. Don't do both of this at once. Wait, that's not what you're saying. Yeah. Who? Ezrin, it's gonna be okay. You knew? F I'm going for a walk. <laughs> That sounds like a good idea. Oh, buddy. It's just a piece of paper that says danger. <laughs> Did he take away his ability to read? It's time for that Star Wars reveal. It's you. Yup. You tried dark magic for the first time. I would expect that to be easy. Ew, I don't like Solon Sokka voice. No, buddy, it's glowing red. Everyone's calling you a hero. Saved me from a problem I caused, maybe. Is that what heroes do? Damn, at least you own up to it. Dad gave me a secret mission. Oh, f dude, that's not your fault. That's not on you. You must have misunderstood. Nah, it, uh, oh, buddy. Can't do anything. 
Oh shit. No, there's still a lot of things you can do. God damn. Oh, my head hurts. God damn. Hi, dad. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Dark magic looks bad for your skin. Exercise that demon right out of you, bud. What? What? That's so terrifying. Oh my God. I mean, same. Is it a metaphor? He gained the power of the orb, but he smashed it. Holy shit, he'll be able to do it without the thing because he, he is the thing, right? No? Because he turned into a sail. So like, wind, you are, you got the wind. You are the wind in me. Find the lighthouse. Find the girl. Wipe away the debt. They told us mom was moving back to Del Bar where her family was from. Oh. And then they said, we had to choose. Oh, God. How could I choose? How could I do that? Mm. She said I had to stay with Soren. That this was my home. Oh, oh, God damn. Do you not get to visit? You might have noticed my dad is pretty intense. Yeah. Oh, buddy, let it out. Both of you let it out. Good God. Ezrin, you don't just have a way with animals. You can talk to them, can't you? Why? Maybe? If I can find milk fruit. Oh, thank fruit, yeah. All the fruit you need. Oh. Oh God, hi, mom. Deep breath, just Yes, go off, queen. God, I really love that. Yay. <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah? Yay, hi. Do I want that? Sleep crusties. Do you want that? I understand the sky are pain. Wait, what? A lot just happened here. Was she about to say the, the word? Oh, look at the deer. I almost forgot how deer love milk fruit. Yes, yes they do. F no, good. Send the child away. Oh, don't, just take the fruit. You just need the fruit. You just need the fruit, right? We're making wine? The whole world is like a giant primal stone and we're inside it. Oh. I am the ring. Yeah? You want wings? You can fly? Do something safer first. Don't, don't, please don't jump, please don't. I. No shit. He's just doing the breath. Okay, cool. I thought he was gonna like fall off, like jump off the cliff and try to fly. I got, like my hands are sweaty. So the the magic is in you from the orb? Or you just gained a bunch of knowledge? I serve the young king. Oh yeah. God, a lot just happened. I'm so sorry that I didn't tell you. I, I tried to, but I just- It's okay, man. It's been like a couple days. Yay, no one's mad. No. You just need the fruit. Get, get, no, get, get a therapist instead? Oh, oh God. Ew, did she throw it into his nerves? I can move my toes. Yeah, yay? Oh God, are you okay? It's gotta take something from in you, right? You're gonna be better now. Oh shit. God, my head hurts. You good, bud? I'm not going with you to Zadia. What? I have to face my responsibility. Now that I'm king, I have to go home. Uh, valid? I'll see you again. God, I hope so. You better. I know where you live. But, <laughs> too soon. I'm sorry I couldn't help you learn to fly, but I know you'll get it soon. That what Callum's gonna do for him? Is they're both gonna learn to fly with sky magic? Oh, look at the boy. What are you making there, champ? Are you making evil swords? Evil, ew. Evil henchmen? Are you creating guests for your pity party? What are you doing? Ew, oh, and you creepy old bad with the booger boy on your ear. Ew, he's, he's, he's master of all the elements. Is he the cube guy? The mirror boy? The birdie! All right, see you, nerd, you got caught. Ew, don't go in his holes. You know what I meant. Oh, he's still connected to the boy. Time to learn to fly. Yay, look at him go! Wind boost. Both brothers will teach you to fly. Yay! Who's a smart flying boy? Okay, leave room for Jesus, thank you. You're a weird king, King Esmond. Ha, carry me, I'm king, whoosh. Oh, shit. And we're not coming back empty-handed. Oh, they're gonna break him out of jail with a piece of a dragon. Zadia. It's the Grand Canyon. No, it's him. Whoa. Oh shit, from the pilot? You have ketchup on your eyes? That was rude. But he's from the pilot, right? Oh man, 
Um, <laughs> I really feel like this season picked up the pace, but season one had to definitely lay down a lot of uh, groundwork. So then when we start to delve deeper into not only characters, but also history, lore, magic, it all kind of clicks a lot faster. So this is definitely a payoff from season one, which I still enjoyed. Season two, we now find all of our main characters at some type of crossroads. I really enjoyed feeling like we know these characters a lot deeper because we see what they do when the chips are so low. Callum be confronted with uh, the consequences of dark magic, choosing the harder, uncertain path of focusing on still trying to resonate with primal magic, inevitably doing so. I do wish we had been given more time with Callum maybe trying to pilot the ship. I liked that that metaphor and how humans have started to conquer these elements in their own way. You know, instead of seeing a boat and a sail, seeing it as harnessing the sky and the sea. I liked that. We see Rayla be so caring to Callum in the surprising relationship -y. I still don't know how I feel about that. I'm not mad, it makes sense. Um, but we see Rayla care for Callum even though she's definitely angry in his choice of using dark magic to free the sun dragon. We see Sorin at his low point taking time to reflect. And then we see Viren lose all credibility with the high council and turn to Mirror Satan, who I think is a star elf. The, uh, for lack of a better word, evil avatar. It was really Really satisfying for these characters because then we have Claudia. She, instead of using milk fruit to try to heal her brother, sacrificing deer instead, which obviously was a more certain element, <laughs> she used human transmutation. Like she definitely made a choice and picked a path, but I feel like she kind of picked this middle ground, something so negative, but for such a, a positive. We see all these main characters or I guess our main characters and our key supporting characters hit these pivotal crossroads and it gave us so much about, if not who they are, who they are right now and where they're at. I'm gonna start going in order. Um, I wanna see Auntie America get her own fire sword. That'd be dope. I finally got more of a lot of the things that I wanted though. The rest of the human kingdom, which I didn't realize it was split into multiple kingdoms or nations or what have you. Seeing how even like their leadership is lacking, shout out to the child queen with the two moms. No one really making a decision and her just going, is this all we're gonna do? A two minute speech does not equate to a million lives of my soldiers. I really liked feeling like we're systemically being challenged within the human world, as well as conceptually everything being challenged with a, a moon elf and two human princes trying to save a dragon. Especially considering how much is at stake for her, she acknowledges you know, how much help her country has had, which shout out to the queens, and still making that unpopular choice despite all that, acknowledging the history, but moving forward. Forward, learning from it, which is why the king, Callum's stepfather, writes in a, a letter. I think that's probably my favorite thing about this season, other than the beauty of magic and the crossroads every main character faces, the connective thread of the speech Callum tries to give as to explain to him that their father has passed or his father has stepped out. That's what the king said to Callum when his mom died. And he's trying to bestow that same comfort and wisdom to his little brother. And I loved that. Rayla, get her hands back. Yeah, she did. Good note me. I love this concept of how they handled the Sky Arcanum, how it was like taking a breath, refocusing, like, you know, uh, sort of being this meta uh, context of anxiety, having this be like in a dream state with his, with his late mother was very touching, very moving. Give your brain a minute to catch up with the rest of you. And like, it made sense, the fact that he made a decision, because it's one thing to keep being so uneasy about dark magic. I appreciate that he actually used it, and it wasn't the judgment of others, it was legitimately how it processed through his body, what it meant to his connection to magic, what his stepfather would think of that, as well as what his mother would think of that. It felt like his decision to make, as opposed to Rayla just being mad at him, and he went, well, I don't want Rayla to be mad. I'm jumping around a lot. Viren committed mail fraud. The Claudia Callum almost like, what if this is what Callum's life and heart would be like if he hadn't met Rayla and gone on this quest. I appreciated a sort of farewell to that innocence. It's so interesting how the story gets me to move back and forth on Claudia because she takes such a strange middle road. She doesn't want anything bad to happen, but she also doesn't want to pick a definitive side. She didn't open the letter. She didn't hurt the brothers. She cares about everybody. She doesn't want to disobey or let down her father. So it's like this strange constant back and forth. And I really like that about our character so far. Claudia's traumatic experiences with her parents' divorce and not 
not being able to pick a side, so then her mom picked for her, stay with your brother. She did the decisions she made to appease everybody at once. Her mom said stick with her brother. Her dad will be upset if her brother, his son, can't do what's told, what's expected of him or what he's told him to do, and she cares about her brother. It's this constant entanglement, so then going from, I just need milk fruit, we're gonna try that, to kind of knowing at the last minute the deer will work. It's so complex and layered that it, it was truly a, a, an intense, <laughs> traumatizing joy to watch. I really like that. I love those characters. I love not knowing how I feel about them. He's picking a fight with dragons and I'm I'm judging the crap out of him, but then all that, all that build up and set up just to have me feel everything for him at once at the same time, it was devastating, but like he accepted it. it he wasn't like, stupid dragons, how dare that dragon retaliate? Learning from that, I'm not a hero. I put everyone at risk that desperate move to help him like that, not only does it stunt his character and emotional growth because now he's not reflecting on those things after having lost something, she did it so soon that he started to feel his broken ribs and damage, like his banged up body. She could have waited a while and then he wouldn't feel all this pain. Like it, it did such a disservice and a service at the same time, it's wild. I liked that feeling of she just recklessly did all this and sacrificed so much of herself for her brother. It's heartbreaking to watch. It feels so unhealthy. It feels like such the wrong thing to do. Such the wrong thing to do. Like it, it, it makes her simultaneously one of my favorite and my hardest to watch characters in this show. Cause she even starts out with like touching the elf's face and they're in the, the moon elf Sanctum Santorum. I loved feeling this like ignorance to her. It almost felt like she was at like a an amusement park or a museum, but then was also touching the stuff as well as a freaking person's face, the elf lady's face. Like that really bothered me. I'm like, you're just invading somebody's space and like treating her like an object after she even said she's not an illusion. And it's so frustrating to see her in that moderate middle all the time. Cause after a certain point when things keep escalating and building and building and building, you're facilitating a negative outcome through inactivity or through indecision. And I kind of like seeing that being embodied in a character. Callum and Soren both in different, different um, levels of incapacitated, and if Rayla had just woken up Callum, you know, sort of like how Claudia did to Soren, Callum wouldn't have connected breathing and mental health exercises from his mom and his uh, thinking chair. He wouldn't have connected to the sky magic. I found that really interesting. The caterpillar thing is so jarring and spooky. It even crawling under his like clothes to go up to his neck instead of over his clothes. Little details like that, keeping it invasive, keeping it gross, not quite seeing it, not seeing where it's going to move, picking the ear and then going into it. Like, ugh. Either he's lying about his name, but I think the magic cube thing is his. Avaros, the, the anti-avatar? I find him really interesting. I love his deep voice. I love how foreboding he is. Like, the arts and crafts thing and then now draw blood and dude's just like no but then he like takes his ability to read it's so cool it gave me all those supernatural horror movie stereotypical emotions and evoked all those feelings without literally having him is someone here ha huh. you know what i mean it was so cool i thought that was expertly done. I wish I understood more why humans were exiled from the East portion. I want to understand that a little better other than obviously the existence of dark magic, the origins there of the the decision instead of like to, God forbid, talk to somebody about, hey, can we use some magic to help us grow food? You banished us and it's it's failing. Can you help us? They're just gonna go take things and there's consequences to that action. The queen died. That's going to incite the next layer of war, I'm assuming. But I loved seeing the king have imposter syndrome. I liked seeing the queen disagreeing with him and like not even arguing with him, challenging him, like asking clarifying questions, wanting him to be sure just the concept of dark magic, even if someone adjacent to you can wield it. It's so tempting, It's it's that easy answer. Like the queen said, proving once again, magic isn't going to fix this. Healing the wolf isn't going to make everyone accept the wolf missing a leg, right? That doesn't solve anything, kind of calling back to season one. And then here we are, it's like magic isn't going to solve this, it's going to somehow make things worse. The writing does such a good job, as well as the animation and the performance, getting me to be so angry with Soren to where I'm like, I'm about to write, I, I did, I think, I wrote this dude off. As soon as he started fighting the dragon, I'm like, dude, you suck. Okay, cool, you're gonna release the guy. Okay, cool, you care about the people. 
whoa. And what was wild too was like, it didn't sink in right away what happened to him because it's still a cartoon. Like I figured it just kind of like, oh, he got flung into a rock. It kind of knocked him out. I didn't think it was going to be that serious feeling Claudia's panic and she's starting to lose it. That's so real. And they set it up so nicely with the, I'm your big brother. After Callum's not date with Claudia, he's like, did he hurt you? Why are you crying? Like he went into that big brother mode. Like they just kept sprinkling little nuggets of these people care about each other. I loved that. Like I felt like I wasn't watching a show. Did no one think to, I don't know, send a letter, get this dragon off my property. Dude, what are you doing here? That's why Ez needs to be the leader of this country is he can communicate to them, at least hear them. It always feels as simple as talk it out, bitch. I love Dark Callum. Like I said, the performance was chilling. Are you gonna give in to the, the easy way and the temptation? Or are you gonna take the hard, no guarantee path? He didn't know at that point that he would ever get to cast another spell again. Callum and Ez, after making the hard but right decision, that then gave them an opportunity for both of them to connect to Zim and help him fly. I love that it was both of them. The distance that needed to be made between Ez and Zim. So he had like the comforting voice in his head instead of like literally get him to jump off of a large stone or scare him when he's up in the sky or what have you. I liked how we created this like perfect medium for his learning opportunity it was from both brothers. I loved that. I loved feeling like everybody is involved in this dragon prince quest. The bird escaped. I like that bird. Oh, the Moonstone Path font looked like Death Note font. Can I, you know what I mean? I hope that made sense to somebody. Also, Viren sending like, I guess assassins or spooky monsters to all the different kingdoms. He's gonna scare everyone into trying to attack Zadia just in time for us to be like, we return to the Dragon Prince, we. So I, I feel that coming, but I don't know how the mirror demon boy, the caterpillar walkie talkie thing, that's all gonna play into this. I also really appreciated the new world we're finding ourselves in. Ez isn't the only uh, young leader of a uh, kingdom. Um, I hope that comes into play more. I want Ez to meet with, you know, oh, like learn to be a ruler from everybody and he's gonna be like, you, you're also a kid, you're doing a good job. I wanna learn from you. I want the two of them to bounce ideas off of each other and interact. Feeling a systemic generational shift there due to the consequences of actions in history that they weren't a part of. They didn't choose or run and campaign to be king and queen of their nations. It's this conflict between Zadia and, and humans killed our parents and now here we are, this is what you get. You get kids in charge of the countries because the parents are dying young. Like it kind of speaks to that shift in tragedy and consequence to the war. Callum learning more magic. I hope he learns thunder stuff or more stuff. They keep talking about him flying. He said, I want wings. So I guess I want him to fly or lightning. I want him to do something cool. And I'm really excited to see Zadia. Oh, and then there's a dragon guarding everything. Is he cool? He was from the pilot. We've only seen one dragon acknowledge that the dragon prince is alive. So I'm excited to see now what the dragons and elves are going to say about this quest. Uh, but yeah, there you guys go. Those are my thoughts on the dragon prince season two. What are your thoughts on my thoughts? Was something that I missed? Let me know in the comments as well as encouraging more. Smash the like buttons, YouTube words, blah, blah, blah. My gaming channel where I stream twice a week is linked in the description as well as a link to a card that will send you to resources for social awareness and education, mental health crisis lines, Trevor Project resources, things like that. Should you or someone you don't need them. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope to see you next time I go live or I upload. Remember to be safe, be mindful of others, wear masks if you choose to go out. And remember to take care of yourselves, please.